title, we are gonna do a full face of Milk makeup. I really love Milk as a brand. I've loved them since they came out. So I've already done like a full face of all Milk makeup products. Whatever I don't use in this video is probably in that video. So feel free to check that out if you're super curious about the line. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is their watermelon brightening serum. It doesn't smell like artificial watermelon or anything like that, so don't worry. Like, at least I'm not into those fake kind of scents, especially for skincare. So don't worry, it doesn't smell like a Jolly Rancher. It's, it doesn't smell like anything, actually. But yeah, watermelon is obviously made up of water. So this is basically just like a hydrating type of skincare item. Swipe, 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 dab, dab, dab. So the next thing that I have here are the blur sticks. This one is a lot more matte, but it's kind of nice for your like T-zone. I'm still not like the hugest fan of the blur stick though. I never went out and purchased it on my own, but after using it, like it does kind of like mattify and you can use this even when you're not doing your, your makeup. So I'm just gonna apply this blur stick here on my T-zone where I tend to get oily and I actually always get really gross here and creasy. So, yeah. Oh, and then a tip is I already opened all of these but usually it comes with like this clear plastic cap and I always struggled to get them off because you know, I thought I had to like pick it apart with my finger and then I dig into the product or whatever. One of the guys that works for Milk, he's like, girl, all you gotta do is twist it and then it'll pop out that little plastic thing or whatever that covers it. It's so much easier and you're not digging your fingers into anything. Anyways, let's move on to the Luminous Blur Stick. So this one I'm gonna apply across my cheeks. This one just has like a bit of sheen to it as opposed to it being completely matte. Obviously luminous blur stick, but it kind of works in the same way as far as like you can do makeup or not Like it just kind of gives your face like a filter So now I'm just gonna fill in my brows. They only have one brow product. I believe yeah, I'm pretty sure this is called their gel brow and this is in the shade Let me see I will have everything listed below because I can't find what which, which shade this is but I'm pretty sure it's just like dark brew or dark brown. I can't remember what it's called exactly. I used to really love this one and it's just not my favorite anymore. I think it's almost too waxy. Like it takes a while for it to show up. I'm gonna show you here. Like I'm, I'm pressing so hard. Just doesn't really do it for me anymore. We're just gonna roll with it for today. So we don't deviate from the full face of milk. So next I'm gonna move on to foundation. I picked up the Sunshine Skin Tint and I'm so excited to try this with you guys. I've been wanting this foundation forever. It just kinda takes me a while to go out and buy because I usually like feel so guilty for owning so many foundations but I'm like, girl, it's kinda like your job so just do it. But anyways, so in that first milk video I really wanted to use this one but they didn't have my shade so I ended up just buying the blur foundation which I love so if you guys want to see how that one wears definitely check out that other video but let's go ahead and get into this one so for these packagings what they taught me as well like instead of trying to like break this guy open just like do this like rub it and then it'll pop off but like you have to have kind of muscle so you see how that popped off I hope I got that on camera anyways it pops right off if you just like you're trying to start a fire. I am the shade medium, or I bought the shade medium. Let's see if it's, if I am. And always when there's new product, you have to pump for like decades. It's coming, I hear it. It's here. So the foundation gets deposited at that little roller ball and then you can just roll it. Yeah, I think this is too light. <laughs> I'm so sad. I thought for sure I grabbed the right shade. First, I'm gonna blend this out with my fingers. Yeah, it's such a bummer. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to buff it out. I think we can still make it work with like some bronzer. We're just gonna try. But you can see it's super skin-like. Let's see if it's buildable actually. I'm gonna add a little bit more to these like Tiny scars. Yeah, no, this is too light for me. <laughs> I'm like trying to convince myself it's not. I 
like to keep my base always looking super skin like. This one is so bomb. If I had to pick like a top five concealer, this one would be on that list. I have noticed that there is some trouble with the packaging, like the stopper gets stuck up there is what you guys are telling me in my last get ready with me. I know I'm not the only one with this issue, so hopefully they think about that because it is quite messy, but honestly, it's so good that I just kind of deal with it. I'm just gonna apply a few lines like that. This one is, I'm going in with more than usual because I am going to that event or whatever. It's so thin but still full coverage. It makes it really easy to blend and still make your, it look like skin but obviously like way more flawless. Like it doesn't look like 10,000 pounds of concealer there. Like it still looks like my skin. Now I look like so white. I can't wait to move on to bronzer. Okay, so actually their bronzer is one of my favorite bronzers. This is like top three. I used this in the other video as well. It's like a nice muted brown. I'm gonna use a brush just to kind of slice this. Like it does a really good job of lasting as far as cream products go. Before we move on to like highlighter and blush and all that good stuff, like my favorite part, let's go ahead and do the eyes. I have a few pigments here to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and use Gig. These are so chromey and pretty. So I'm just gonna dab it, put this all over the lid and then have it kind of bleed just past my crease. And then for Hotel Lobby, I'm just going to place that right in the inner corner. Let me know if you would like to see, because I have like the purple and the blue pigment. So let me know if you guys want to see like a look with those. What I'm going to do is get some of this bronzer. Use bronzer like as a shade here. And that is the lid. For now, I'm going to move on to cheeks. So this is in the shade Perk. And it's this like really pretty sherbet tea pinky shade. I'm just dabbing that on my apples here. Just gonna dab a little bit more with my fingers. What's really great about these two is you can totally use it for your lips as well. And you can do use it on your eyes. We're gonna add a lit just to have like a nice little base of sheen. And then I'll put the face gloss on top. This is more like fine shimmer. So now let's move back into the eyes. I'm gonna use the Milk Kush Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. Like from the packaging, it's so damn sturdy. It is made with CBD oil, so it keeps your lashes like really flexible and like non-flaky. Really does a good job of adding a lot of volume, which I really, really appreciate in mascara. I love volumizing mascaras as opposed to like lengthening mascaras. I like it better than the other mascara that they had, the Ubame. I think it just does it all. I really love this. And the packaging just feels so damn luxe, so. I think that kind of adds to the price tag as well. It's like my secret weapon. <laughs> just makes your lashes look so insane. Like I know mine aren't long naturally, but like, I mean, they touch my damn eyebrows today. And I'm just gonna apply it to the bottom lashes as well. This is one of their lip color. They look like little crayons. And this is the color Cream, C-R-E-A-M. It looks like it's spelled as an acronym. And this is one of my favorite go-tos. And it feels super comfortable, which I'm down for, but these guys are my favorite. I used another lip vinyl in that first milk video as well, and it's one of my favorites as well. Like a lot of my the milk products, I'm like, it's up there in like the top five. I feel like they make really good formulas. This was in the shade Flossy. And the other one that I have that I really love is called Chillin'. So this is like my evening night out kind of lip. It's very like 90s and like M. Rada kind of vibes to me. I feel like this is a shade that she would totally rock like for a night out. I'm like just making things up in my head. And now I'm gonna add this face gloss. Like I said, it has a lot of gold. You see that? So it's kind of weird. Like I don't really love that. But we're just gonna use it because I have it. I'm just gonna dab it here high points of my cheeks and I just dab it out with my fingers. I still need to just get their OG one. That one's always sold out. I need to just order it online. 
touch up the eye a bit. And I'm just gonna lock everything into place. This is the blur spray. I really, really, really love this. Mm. It's so refreshing too, but it really does a good job of keeping your makeup to last, especially when I'm using all these like glossy, like creamy products that I used to do. <laughs> fun getting ready with me with all of these milk products and let me know which milk product that I used today was your favorite I'm so curious about these things like what you guys are gravitating towards and I will leave this video here if you haven't quite gotten your full milk makeup fix yet and thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe so you won't miss anything and I will see you in my next video bye guys